Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel, guys. And excuse for any wind noise. Um, today we're working on the the, the door handles, the notorious 95 to 98. And if you, like I said, if you count the classics, the 99s. Uh, well, any 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 truck GMT 400 with this interior and this style of truck. Yeah, so yes, you know it's more than. Uh, yeah, these are common things that go out. The other two trucks I had, and my dad, that my dad's truck, his went out too. So, yeah, and uh, take these off. There's a bunch of videos on YouTube how to take them off from different people, but uh, what I'm gonna do is just replace this. And since I'm gonna have this off, I need to get a bolt for this. Uh, I ended up figure, uh, seeing that I don't need to replace it because it's perfectly fine. It's just down there. Oh man, I can't see anything. Well, if you know on these, well, I don't know why the camera does that. But right there, where it's, you see the hole? There's a screw that's supposed to hold this. And I tightened this one up a little bit because it was loose. So. find a little bolt to just to put it there and tighten it and it'll be all good take all that off um so i don't need to buy x and i don't need to buy an exterior door handle since that is not broke it's just missing the bolt so, so to take these off uh, and if you want to roll down the window because if you're like me i can't i need wind i need some air blowing into me because man it's hot and it's, and it's January here in Texas, so we're used to this during the summer, not the winter. Usually it would be cold, you know, chilly. But anyways, uh, first thing you want to do is take out these stubborn General Motors screws, Phillips screws. Uh, this one, it, this one was our right to get out. This one, I tried two different Phillips head. <laughs> And it did not want to come out, so I ended up getting pliers. So get a pair of pliers just in case. Damn chicken! No, that's a rooster. Uh, so once you get those two out, everything else is pretty much easy work. Um, on these, there's one, two, and three tabs, and then like a guide tab. Uh, let's see. This is from the other door. The the original owner, the first owner. Uh, he took it off. So that side's already been done. I just need to put it together and get a rivet gun and rivet back because I got that one and the other one's over there on the doors right there. Uh, matter of fact, where's the bezel at? I hit the bezel something. Oh, there it is. <laughs> but yeah, you see how this has one, two, and three, and then the guide pin. So that's for the other side. So that's the same thing on this side. You take this off. You pry these plastic. This comes all together. Plastic. Uh, pry this off slowly. Um, take the electrical connectors out and then you, you can take this off and there's a, a um, what they call it well, there's a there's a guy pin a push pin deal there it's just one be careful with it because these are known to break the inside part where it holds and then from there you can just slowly take this off and if you can I mean you ha you're gonna have to but if you want to you can take this out the other side will they took it out but it's it needs a bulb so i need to get a bulb for it i think i have uh, the bulbs it's 194 i believe and i wanted to do the speakers but and that might have to happen another time because today i got other stuff to do so just get these door handles that's the the important deal anyways i don't i have the stock radio so hopefully get a radio for it just need to know what kind of radio i'm gonna need but um I can't do this with one hand and try to pry it so like I said it's just that one right there one right there and one down here you take it off this right here take it off take it off and then on the side and once I take everything off I'll show you where exactly are the, the pins the push pin deals um, where they come out and all so let me get that uh, done and I'll bring you back to the finished product of taking everything off but I'll be right back okay so all I did was 
I got my flat blade and the, the trim tool. And all I use, all the only thing I used for this flat blade was to hold it in place while this did the job of prying off the tabs. Like for instance here, I hold it, I lift it up first with the, whoops, uh, I lift it up with this first and then stuck it in there and then push this tab, this tab, and the other tab up here downward, or, or this one upward technically, and it comes right off. That's one. Same thing with this over here, and it comes right off. And then the one up here, luckily I was able to get it off the back part, meaning this, uh, this just came off like that, and I was like, okay, good. And I managed to get it off from right there. And you can get these at Riley's uh, AutoZone or what's the other one? Advanced Auto Parts. Napa. Well, Napa's technically closed on Sundays where I live, so probably everybody else, or maybe not. But yeah, those three. And here's the tabs. Two right here in the back. Uh, let's see. This was one. Okay, got one right here. One right there. And a, a, the one that goes over here is a slide. Uh, that's pretty much it, tab wise. And like I said, that right there. So just uh, disconnect this and this and this. And you might need uh, steady hands and a very skinny, small flat blade screwdriver. But I'll just try my luck with this and pry these off. Get them off and then ignore all that junk that's not even mine. Uh, just take this off and then from there I'll show you how to take this off. And like I said, you can take this off, but sometimes it comes together out and you just take off the, the electrical connector in the back. So let me disconnect this. I'm gonna try to at least. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to do that from the front side appears to be because right now that's right there the tab to take it off and this one will be here probably uh, so I'm gonna try my luck and see what happens and then I'll come back and show you all what taking okay. okay so uh, well, this is like the other one this one doesn't have it they took it off from right there uh, I, I couldn't even get it off from there I don't know how they did it but they disconnect it. All it is is like a push tab that goes in there and you just push it and pull it and it works like that. This one, you have to stick, where is it at? This little bitty, uh, you need one of these. Uh, you push it in there and you have it, hold it in there while you manage with your both hands or one hand while holding this whole thing. Uh, wiggle it out and it comes right off. And then this one, uh, how was it? Uh, there it is. You push this down, and it, it'll stay. Like if you push it, it'll stay like that. And all I did was like slide it across, like right there. So hold it, and then with one of my hand, I just wiggle it out and came off. So you may be lucky with like that, if, like the way I did it, or you might have a different way to do it. But that's just how I did it. So now just put these in there. Uh, all I gotta do next is just pull these out. So, the first example would be, if I pry this open, I get to see this one right here. I try to get to it cl as close as I can, because I don't want to break these. Uh, yeah, that's why, I don't know, other YouTube guys, another channel, they have like another guy or another person who's just that skilled with the camera. If I'm not, I have to have both hands just to manage to work it out. So I'll be back and I'll show you where exactly all of them are. In case if one's broken from your vehicle, you can replace it. Uh, they sell it, at, like I said, at the auto parts store. They're obvious how they look like. They look like the one I pulled out like this and like that. That's the ones you need for the whole door trim and all that. That's, that's the pin. So let me uh, manage this out and I'll show you where exactly are the pins are on the door. Okay, uh, I took it off and 
it's all exposed and like I said it's a rivet that holds it in and we're gonna plan to put another rivet back in but other people would put a self tap there but if I can get that uh, rivet gun somewhere in the shop I'll need to find it um, so the what I did first we'll start on this side because it's the much easiest and outside that's why when you saw me crying right here that's not all me though it's been there that right there is is a uh, me but from there I do it like this and pry it open and then from there I'll look down and just follow this one so two right here on this side of the door there should be four one two three four on the bottom and then on this side of the door is one two and then up here the third alone once you get that pried off oh shit my bad uh, once you get that pried off uh, it's loose and up here is attached all you gotta do is lift it up and bring it out and you get the end result so there's one two one two three four one two and then the third up there and since I'm already here and I got both of them out I'm gonna clean them up get some APC clean them up um, yeah, clean all that right there. Clean that out. Clean it real good. Because it's hard to reach places. Especially all this is like dusty as hell. Um, Look in here. I need to lift up the damn window. And right there is our culprit. I don't know if y'all can pick that up or not. Let's lift the camera this way maybe. No. Okay, so over there. Is the door handle you see that you see how the light moves over there so over there we well, I can't see it but over there in the back side matter of fact there's a hole right here I don't know if it, right there look at that right there it's missing the bolt so if I can get a bolt in there or screw whatever um, that's fixed. I don't have to replace the whole thing. Like I said, I was looking at it, I was like, man, something ain't right. It's like, most of them would be like cracked right here, like this one, but like major, like it, it can't, like it's all in pieces. But this one, you just need to oh, screw whatever it needs. Because this one was loose, and I just, you know, hand tightened a little bit. Hopefully with the other one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift the window up. Once I lift the window up, I got access through these two holes, and hopefully, because um, I can fit my whole hand through here, my arm and everything. That's the that's the, the pros of being very skinny like my, my, let's say, like, like I'm like chicken skin. I'm like, not chicken skin, but like chicken legs all skinny as hell. Anyways, that's the pros of being like that. But the down part is, boy, everything hurts when you get a, a, a chingazo, man. <laughs> Anyways, um... Get, take that off. Get me. There you go. I'm going to drill it out or take this rivet off. Take this off. Roll up the window. So, And to put it back is just basically the reverse. Everything I did. You, What you do is just put it back on. Like upward. I mean, we'll technically push it in. Set it like that. And just push in into those tabs. Those pins from the door. And then everything I did disconnect is it's very easy to put back together. If you have a hard time, that's you're you're doing it wrong or something's in the way. So, and the speakers need to replace this one because this one's going out. Uh, but maybe later, soon in the future, because that one is gone. So that side's already been done for me. So I just gotta put them on. And hopefully later, sooner or later in the channel, I'll buy a pair of speakers. Matter of fact, comment down below what kind of speakers I should get. I've been, I asked the Facebook group. My, I'm in. I, I was at Walmart at the time. Like I said yesterday. Because uh, the video I did it yesterday. And I'm, I got, matter of fact, I edited it last night around midnight. So today, Sunday. Today, Sunday. Uh, that should be public viewing. So... I just gotta get this done, edit this whole video for this today. So, um, I was looking at 
Walmart, they have the Sony and, and I guess Skosh, whatever the hell they're called. Um, many people say, uh, stay away from Sony and the cheap Walmart brand doesn't even last a month. So I was like, okay. And many people say JBL, uh, Rock Ford Fosgate, I believe that's how you say it. And then the other one's Kicker and all that. But then, uh, I like Kicker and I get, uh, somebody said you can get a pair for 100 bucks and I'm mistaken. I think Best Buy, when I went to Victoria a few months back. The Best Buy there, they had a, a deal where you can get two of Kicker six and a half for under like a hundred bucks. So I might check Best Buy for speaker options. Uh, Cause I'm, I'm that type of guy. If I can get it in hand today, if I get to drive to another town and get them, I'll do it. Cause I'm not the type of guy who goes online and buys it and waits like almost a week for the speakers to come in. Now, I'm not the type. I, I'm I'm not that type of guy. If I can get it locally, I'd rather do that. I, you know, I'm just that type of guy. So, uh, get those. Now, I don't know about tweeters. Y'all can come in about those tweeters as well. Uh, I can't replace those or not because I don't even know if they work or not. So, but I'm going to come back up just to make sure. So, like I said, uh, when I come back, everything's going to be back, put back together, clean. Just This is how to take it off. To put it back on, it's, it's, uh, it's real simple. Now, to take these off. Like I say, you take this rivet out, and then over here in the back side, there's these like tabs. Man, y'all really cockadoo new over here. All right, so on this uh, on this side, you see those three tabs up there? Basically, you push them out, and it comes out. And then to put it back in, you push them in and slide them in. So it's one of those deals. And then to lock it to lock it in is well, that's why they have a the rivet there. So it's real easy. It's just me showing you how I'm doing it and then the future plans for the speakers as well and I'm gonna clean this up so hopefully you like this video it's probably long as hell but like I said comment down below for the speakers and all that and I'll probably throw in an extra clip of the new rims and tires I'm putting on this thing well they're, they're technically new because they only have like a hundred miles on the tires and the rims are like Mickey Thompson so you, you, you already know what they should look like if you follow my Instagram. So follow my Instagram too. Um, but I'll catch you. Later. Okay. So you thought I ended the video? No. Uh, the rivet out. I drilled it out with a five thirty seconds. That fits perfectly for the hole right there. So just drill out the rivet itself. And like I said, it was. Oh shit. It was like that, right? With the door handle, like this. Once with that rivet out, all you gotta do is just slide it to the front, pull it back, and you notice you have one, and then two, it auto-focus itself, two uh, latches that, or rods that go to the door, so all you gotta do is just pry them up, and pry that one out, and then it comes out, and then with the new one, from O'Reilly's, um, this is a neutral gray. That's the one they have in stock. And I don't mind it being a different color. So, it'll stand out more anyways. And I don't really care about the color, just the functionality is what I call for. So, once I get these off, I'm gonna put that new one in and put everything back together. Okay, I might cut the clips here and there and there. But uh, all I did was put my pliers right here because this piece wherever the hell it went uh like that attaches to the door i don't know where i put it oh right there uh this was right there so i grabbed my channel locks put them right there and then with the trim removal tool uh, i pried them off and so is that one so if you want to take them off just use like I said buy this save you time and get that and then fix the door the outside door handle only that's loose but I mean the whole thing is tight this was a little bit loose like I said this 10 millimeter bolt and this other 10 millimeter bolt that was in there well it was down here so I got a magnet picked it up aligned it put my hand through there and like I said if you have a bigger hand or arm like than what I have 
then with the magnet hold it and then with the socket and swivel socket well yeah swivel socket or one of these wobbler extensions with the 10 millimeter long and a ratchet you know that's how i got it in there too bad you can't see it no more but yeah that's that's one and two so it opens so that's loose, but I don't care about that. It's just now I don't worry about this jingly wankly there. So out with the old, in with the new. Um, I re I will reuse the factory plastic deal here for this uh, because if it's there still, I'll reuse it. If it's not, then I don't. But. I'm the type of guy if it's from the factory and it's still there, we use it again. So we'll put that back on, and then, like I said, like I showed you, uh, we slide it in, so everything would be reverse process. At this point, it's all reverse process. So this will be the end of the video, technically. Uh, what I'm gonna do is clean the this and the door panel itself, and like I said, comment about for the speakers. Uh, like I said, just put this on, put it back on, and then for the rivet, well, if you don't have a rivet gun, self-tapping screws would work, but I got a rivet gun and two different style of rivet sets, so I'm gonna see which one I'm gonna need. Uh, like I said, the drill bit was a 5 30 seconds to drill it out, so it doesn't make the hole bigger, just drilled out the, the rivet out. So, like I said, everything's reverse processed, and if you're gonna do speakers, well, hopefully I can do a video, but like I said, uh, there's other videos out here. There's a, The aftermarket support for these vehicles are, is just enormous. You can find videos that are like shorter than what I'm doing, but I got, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just showing up because why the hell not? So, that'll be it for today's video. The removal and then like I said, the installations are all reverse processed. Uh, if you're still confused or you're looking at other videos just take pictures along the way that's another good thing to do take pictures and uh, after this video I'm gonna make a short little video of before and after so all it is is gonna be maybe a minute or so or a little bit more maybe five minutes <laughs> at most of the before and after rims and tires I'm gonna put on so after I do with these doors that's what's gonna happen so thank you just like give it a like comment down like i said for the speakers and all and anything you got any questions and subscribe for more content hopefully i can try to get videos out more than what i've tried been doing so I, I you know i need to grow the channel and thanks for the 100 subscribers now i'm almost heading to 150 i believe i'm 143 so subscribe like i said subscribe like and comment and i appreciate it guys uh i'll see you on the next one thank you